the governor flexing his political muscle or an experienced executive chief providing his observations and advice. Good evening. I'm Yanji Denise. And I'm Paula Akana. KITV4 has obtained that much discussed voicemail. Governor Neil Abercrombie left with UH President Marcy Greenwood during the height of the Stevie Wonder concert scam. Andrew Pereira has been dissecting that call. He joins us live with a story you'll see only on KITV4. Andrew? Paula Greenwood has claimed that she was pressured by the governor to make specific personnel decisions. Governor Abercrombie says the voicemail proves he was only offering advice. Tonight, we leave it for you, the viewer, to decide for yourself. Exactly a month after the Stevie Wonder Benefit concert was abruptly canceled, UH President Marcy Greenwood held a meeting with Governor Abercrombie inside his office August 10th. The governor's press secretary says Greenwood initiated the face-to-face. -face. The voicemail left by the governor to Greenwood on August 16th apparently references that initial meeting. I realized that uh, the suggestions I made before uh, were not carried through on, and that, of course that's your business and Tom Apple's business. Although I honestly believe that the outcome from whatever uh, advice you did take, I think, has not done very good. As public outcry over the university's handling of the concert debacle boiled over, Greenwood's attorney issued a letter to the Board of Regents October 2nd. He claimed Greenwood was pressured by Abercrombie to reinstate Jim Donovan as athletics director. Greenwood's attorney said there was a direct threat that if Greenwood did not reinstate Donovan, she could expect that the university's budget would be in deep trouble at the legislature. In the recording obtained by KITV4, the governor tells Greenwood she should schedule a meeting with the Board of Regents to discuss the university's loss of $200,000. Abercrombie also mentions discussions he had with state lawmakers. If this issue is not resolved decisively on Wednesday, uh, by Thursday, uh, you are going to uh, be in the thick of uh, a Senate investigation uh, and all that that entails. The Senate investigation moved forward as Abercrombie predicted. In a November 21st interview, the governor said he was simply providing Greenwood his observations and advice. Is it advice? Uh, candid? Sure, of course. I, I think that there may have been some mischaracterizations. In the letter by Greenwood's attorney, he demanded a $2 million payout for the University of Hawaii president. However, the letter was rescinded days later. In the voicemail, the governor appears to counsel Greenwood that her good standing at UH could be at stake if she failed to call a regent's meeting and act decisively. There will be a full-fledged effort uh, by uh, the, the legislature, uh, members of the legislature, to bring it to a conclusion uh, themselves. Now, Greenwood is currently in California and was unavailable for comment today. Back to you. All right.